Spag alert. Spag alert. Now, I'm not talking about backpacks here, okay? Like for the photo contest, my favorite backpack is that uh, low pro over there on the floor. I'm talking about like man purse, <clears throat> excuse me, satchel camera bags or man purses, depending on <laughs> depending on how you want to look at it. I like to look at, believe it or not, maybe I have a bag fetish. Maybe I have a bag fetish. Maybe, no, I, <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> it's like someone's going to throw in like some sort of a, uh, uh, some sort of a joke on me, like some sort of trans joke or something like that. Um, don't say stuff like that. Be nice. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I've had too much ca caffeine today. These are my uh, f three favorite man bags. Um, <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? Three. Th <clears throat> excuse me. Let's start over. Th three favorite camera bags. Now this is um, actually really cheap. It's sixty-seven bucks. I've got a couple of these. This is camel leather. Oh my god, this bag is orgasmic. It's just so soft. It's just softer than a baby's bottom. Mmm. Smells of dead animal. Actually, it doesn't. It smells beautiful. And you get it uh, for 67 bucks. Now, you do have to make your own insert. Now, the insert that I made, and I showed it in another video, is just a piece of foam like this. Where you can actually super glue that. I mean, you can make one of these inserts in five minutes. This is actually my favorite, but it's not that big, so it's for packing a couple lenses in. Assume you're packing your camera. I always have my camera out anyway. So for cap packing a, a speed light and some batteries and a couple lenses, or if you have a mirrorless camera, a mirrorless camera and another lens or two will fit in there. This is really cheap for 67 bucks. This is absolutely the best value ever. I love the hell out of this bag. I basically packed it everywhere with me on my uh, last vacation. Uh, I got a couple of them. Everybody comments on them too. They're so soft. Ooh. And the value is great. I mean, these are these are really high quality. Camel. Camel leather. I'll give the links to these three bags below. I have used not many people ask me questions on tripods. I don't care if you're the, you know, I don't care if you're like Joe McNally or like some of these super famous people out there. There's so many damn tripods, for example. It's like nobody's really tried more than 30% of them. They're just too damn many, you know? When it comes to bags, high-quality bags, and me keeping my eyes peeled like a hawk, let me tell you, Homie has tried a lot of bags. Now, making a bag recommendation is kind of a little bit like recommending underwear, right? It's like, you know, what... Uh, not just size-wise, obviously. It's like, you know, what holds your junk may not be <laughs> considered comfortable for someone else. So you kind of got that divider line there where everything is really subjective. But I know high quality and uh, very utilitarian bags. And I've used, I have used a lot of bags. A lot. Um, in no particular order, I'm going to go with the next most expensive now they make a lot of different sizes. This is uh, the retrospective think tank. This is absolutely the most comfortable. The shoulder strap on this and the webbing is just, I mean, talk about packing your crap around all day long in pure comfort and luxury. You can actually make this uh, silent on the Velcro. All you have to do is just take these tabs and fold them over so you can open it up so we're not making a ripping noise which you can see right here. This is actually the best bag for the money. New, these are like 129 bucks, so you can get them uh, used on eBay for like 100 bucks. Now, I found the 7 to be the best size. It holds a lot of stuff. The compartments are in. I mean, I love the hell out of this bag. It's so comfortable. This is uh, kind of like... Uh, mm, I better not say that. <laughs> I was about to say like... Nylon jockey underwear, but I won't say that because that's a little too too uh, explicit. Oh wait, I did say that. <laughs> 129 bucks. Think Tank retrospective. Um, uh, this is not as comfortable, but boy, it is classy as hell, and absolutely love the piss out of it. This is the uh, Ona O N A Prince Street bag. Now they make a lot of different colors on these, and the all leather ones like 389. The one like this, which is, they're all made out of wax canvas. You can get it black and tan. This one is called Smoke. This bag new is, uh, you can see the Ona logo here. This bag new is uh, $229, the canvas one. The uh, all leather ones are 380 bucks. really, really expensive. And they got two pouches here and then the main pouch there. 
and the dimensions on it are four inches by nine inches by ten inches, I believe, inside dimensions. It has a top, all leather strap, so it has leather accents all around, and a uh, leather strap. I've had this monogrammed myself since I do leather work. Uh, really snazzy. I mean, is it really worth two hundred and twenty bucks? Uh, I've used it quite a lot. I think so. <laughs> um, I think I dragged it around something. They actually come pre-scraped, like they're, they're already beaten in, but uh, I've actually done some beating in myself on this one. That sounds bad, doesn't it? I better edit that out later. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's the Prince of Street Bag by Ona. These are actually made in the Dominican Republic. You would assume that you're buying from the United States. I don't care. Dominican Republic's fine. The quality on this, I mean, is it worth the $229? Yeah, actually... Uh, used to sell some really high-end leather goods and stuff like this for really, really rich people. And uh, actually the way this is priced uh, relative to the build quality, it's actually priced really damn cheap. I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff that's not made anywhere near this good for richy, rich people that I used to sell. And it's not made anywhere near as good as this. So is it expensive? Yeah, but quality-wise relative to other stuff in that... Uh, in that genre for uh, briefcases and whatnot, actually the price is pretty damn low. The favorite of these three is, is a tough decision. Definitely the most comfortable is the Think Tank Retrospective. If you want smaller than this, they make a Think Tank 6 and 7 and an 8, I believe, and some other goofy sizes, but this is the uh, Retrospective 7. It also comes with a uh, rain pouch slicker that you could take out and cover the whole thing so your gear doesn't get wet and I'll put the link to all of these below the best value by far since I always have my camera out there's no reason to have your camera in your damn bag you know your camera needs to be out you're supposed to put your other crap in your bag not your damn camera is this sucker made out of camel leather man this is a beautiful piece and it's very very cheap so I just thought I'd make some recommendations if you're looking for a Christmas present or a holiday present or or Festivus, pre <laughs> Festivus present for somebody. Because uh, I have used a lot of bags, and uh, those are my three favorite. Not backpacks, okay, we're not talking about backpacks and cross shots and slingshots and low pros. We're talking about man purse bags <clears throat> and camera bags. Those are it for me. But that's really personal. I mean, like I said, when you recommend... But quality-wise and construction and... Uh, how useful they are, these really are extremely good pieces. The best that I've ever found, and I've looked at a lot. I've tested a lot of them. A lot. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.